that. It's just, it's just, mmm, I, I, mm, I'm just crazy, I guess. Good morning, guys. Nope. What are you doing? Um, I play in a puppy game. At eight thirty in the morning. Um, no. Um, it's just cereal. I'm playing mitten dog. Do you hear Macy? She's a cute name. She's a <laughs> Good morning, as Kennedy said. It is 8 33. We're still laying in the bed. No. Kennedy's playing a game. It's called Tin Dogs. It's called Tin Dogs. It's a cute. What did you say? What did you say? What? What did you say I play in tin dogs and that's right. I got like a double chin here. Yeah. Alright, so it's Monday morning. Here we go. Okay. What are you singing? I got a thing in my hand. What were you singing? Jingle bells, jingle bells. And you have socks on your hands. Crazy kids. Crazy kids. Are you coming? And guess what? Your shorts are on backwards too. Um, these are Legos for Connor. My Legos. And socks on your hands, pants on backwards. Socks on your hands, pants on backwards. Say I don't care. I don't care. Okay, so what else do you do on a Monday morning but clean? And I'm about to do some laundry because, well, because we need some clean clothes. We need some clean clothes. So here we go. Here is a pile of laundry. Look. She's got her pants on backwards. Oh, she's so silly. All right, so let's take this pile of laundry and see what we can do with it. You gonna clean it? You gonna clean it? Ew. Ew, that was a stinky sock. I was going to clean it. Ew, now I you smell like stinky feet hands. But I was going to clean. Ew. I was going to clean. Ew. I'm going to cry. Can you carry it? No, it just won't sock fall down. Sock fall? Are you going to pick stinky sock up? Yeah. Ew. I'm just going to lift it it's up. It's not that stinky. It's not that dirty. Just pick it up and put it back on the, on the top. All right. Let's drag it into the laundry room. Push. Push. Child labor day. Push. Hey, something's in my way. What's in your way? Just nothing. Just nothing? All right, push, push, push. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Whoa, something's in my way. All right, let's turn it on. Put some soap in. Are you paying attention? So you know what to do? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put some soap in. Let me help. Okay. Bring some clothes over here. The ones on top can go in. Just bring those clothes that I put right there on the top. Bring them over and dump them in. No, just grab some. Just grab some from the top. Those are all like jeans and dark clothes. So go ahead and bring them and put them in here. Uh, I can't get Daddy's sweater. His sweater. It's his shirt. There's your panties. Oh, let's not show people my panties. <laughs> All right, put it in. All right, go get the other ones, sock hands. Those are clean socks she has on her hands, by the way. Your shirt. 
Yay! Brave. Monster shirt! It's my monster shirt. It's a Sons of Anarchy shirt. Ew! Ew, stinky sock. Hey! Uh, more stinkies. More stinkies? Yeah, those are whites. We're going to put those in next. Okay. Not right now. Once these get done, then we'll do those, okay? okay. Good job. Give me five. Give me sock five sock hands. I ran all the way up the stairs, plugged the camera up, and sat here <laughs> without breathing. Okay, so I thought today that um, I would go ahead and kind of fill you in on what's been going on here. Maybe we would have just like a little um, a catch-up segment or what the heck have you been up to, Linda, segment. Something to that nature because uh, a few of you have sent me messages over Instagram or Facebook and um, asked if we were sick because there were no family vlogs up last week. No, no one is sick, nothing like that. Sometimes I just need like a, a zap, a recharge, a bolt of something. Um, and last week was one of those weeks. I just decided not to pick up the camera. We took the week off. Um, we got some things done around the house. There has been some things going on here and um, I haven't been keeping them from you. Well, I guess you could say I kept it from you for a whole month, but it was not like my intention to keep it from you. I was going to eventually tell you what has been going on. Um, it's just like getting to that point. Um, I do have in my brain it works in a special kind of way and um, let me just explain to you because you guys are part of our little family here and it was just like we were not like keeping things from you and just I, I, I just don't want anybody to think that yeah we're being all secretive over here. Although we don't tell you guys every little detail that goes on in our lives we do tell you a lot, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to catch you up on what has been going on in this household, which has been quite crazy. It's been a month of just crazy. Crazy. All right, for one thing, we are getting the kids ready. We are starting our homeschooling lessons next Monday. So I've been going through all the books and trying to do a little bit of lesson plans. Um, what I like to do when we start the school year is I like to go back and kind of do a little review for the first two weeks just to see where the kids are because you know sometimes kids they just they don't remember or they don't want to remember so um, I kind of force them <laughs> to remember so that's what we do for the, like the first couple of weeks so I'm getting things ready for school um, of course Megan is going to be a junior <gasps> Yeah, a junior. And then Connor's going to be in the 7th and Reagan will be in the 5th grade. And of course, Kennedy will be, be doing preschool. Although, she is quite smart, I must say. I know she's like a like a freaking genius, of course. She's my kid. But no, she, I mean, from like watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and uh, playing all her little video games, she, I mean, she's she can tell time. I mean, she can't tell like 15 after or 20 after, but she can tell she can look at a clock and pretty much tell you what time it is, which is thumbs up for Disney Junior and Nickelodeon and all that. Um, but yeah, she'll be doing preschool. So anyways, I've been getting ready for that. And then what had happened was my husband lost his job. Yes, exactly a month ago. Uh, yeah, very unexpected. I'm not going to go into the details because they are so not worth it. But um, yeah, he lost a job. And I know losing a job is not like life shattering or life altering or there's so much other things going on with people, even people around us, people that we know that is so much worse than losing a job. However, when you lose a job with four kids and your wife is a stay at home mom and it's an unexpected and you got bills, it's just like, uh, so we were like in a, in a state of shock there for the first week. So yeah, he lost his job, which was a shocker, of course. Um, but I don't know if it's, we're older now or um, we have a better understanding of how things work or we're just, we're just crazy maybe. Um, but we really didn't stress as much as say we would have when like, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I would have been like a, just a, a mess. I would have been hysterical, just sobbing, just stressing. But um, we just had a sense that it would all work out. And of course, you know, it did eventually work out. 
And like I said, it was nothing just so life shattering as like a sickness or an illness or a death in the family. It was just a loss of a job. So I didn't really get on here and tell everybody, you know, he lost his job. For one, I'm one of those people that I care about other people's feelings, probably more so than my own feelings, even though I'm the most emotional person you will ever come across in your life. One to 10, I'm 11 on the emotion scale. I can go from being freaking so angry and just spitting fire to crying over a puppy dog commercial. Yes, I'm just emotion. I mean, just sad, angry, happy. I mean, I just do everything like tenfold. That's just my emotions. But I don't like for other people to be stressed or worry or, yeah, I worry about people. I guess that's like a mama trait because I'm always worried about what my kids are going through. Is anyone, you know, being mean to them? I want to control it, I guess. So, I really didn't tell anybody, even people in my immediate family right away. It was like week number two of him being without a job and I actually told a couple of people because I did not want those people to worry about us, to stress about us. I didn't want the woe is me because I knew in the end that it was going to work out. He was going to have a job because from day one, as soon as he came home, he was filling out resumes, applications, sending them. I mean, going on interviews. So I knew it was going to work out. So my thinking going into the whole thing is, I try to explain it the best I can. Do you know when you're about to get sick and you feel like a cold coming on and you just know it's going to be H-E-L-L? -L? You go through those few days of being miserable and sick, but on the end, you know it's going to be okay and you're gonna go on with your life. So that was my thinking. If we could just get through all of these days in the end, it would be okay, and then I could tell people. And that's just exactly what I did with some people, even some of our family members. Oh, by the way, three weeks ago, Craig lost his job, but he's got an awesome job now. So, yeah, he lost his job. <laughs> but he's got one now, and it's an awesome job. And let me tell you, I know we went through, it was three weeks he did not have a job and I know three weeks does not really sound like a long time but like I said when you are not used to you know having no money come in and your wife doesn't work and you are the sole breadwinner of the house with four kids three weeks can set you back do you know what I'm saying and it's it's so sad in this day and age I was telling him when we were like at like week number two, I was like, oh my goodness, okay, something needs to come along. I was like, it's really sad that people in America now are like one paycheck away from being homeless. I'm not saying that we were. We were not. We still have our house, but some people are not so lucky. Some people are still out there looking for jobs. The only reason that Craig is has got all these jobs and these uh, interviews is because he had connections. Thank the Lord that he had all these connections because there are some people out there still searching for work. So, we are very blessed. We are very lucky. He did find something. Okay, so, so he, he ended up finding one job and he went to work there for a week, but it didn't pay what he um, had got paid at his original job. So, he actually had a part-time job. Another friend had got him the part-time job. So, he was going to be working two jobs just to make the money that he made at the other job. This, it was so funny how it happened. He ended up, after a few days of working, um, got a call. They wanted him to come interview for this awesome job, which he is currently at right now. Today was his first day. And it was one of those where we, he would have never applied for on his own because he didn't have like the degree that was required. However, he does have the experience because all Craig knows is retail. He has been in retail his whole life. He was in upper retail management here in the end. So he definitely had the experience, but I'm not going to say the company he's working with uh, now because I don't think I can, but it's a it's a desk job. It's a Monday through Friday job. It's eight to five weekends off. And ever since I have known Craig, he has always wanted a normal 
job and normal for him is Monday through Friday, eight to five with weekends off. And that is what this job is. And it is just how it worked out. I know we had to go through a whole month of just pure craziness, but in the end it worked out. He got this job where he's going to actually be home more because he does not as it was, he was not seeing us at all. He would go in at 12 o'clock and he was not getting home until 11 30, 12 at night. So the kids were in bed by the time he got home and it was just such a crazy, he worked like 60 hour weeks. He'll be working 40 hour weeks. He was working crazy shifts. It was nothing was stable. It was just crazy. So yeah, that's the awesome thing. You know, we went through all of that, which was not much, but it was a little bit of a headache, I'm going to be honest. And now he has this awesome job, and it's the hours that he wants, and the, it, I don't know, it's just a God thing. We just have to say it's a God thing because that is what he's been praying about. He wants a Monday through Friday, and I'm not even kidding. Every since I've known him, he has wanted that, so he's got that. So, yes, he did lose his job, and yes, a month later, he has another job, an awesome job. Okay, I will say he is a buyer for a company. He's in like a corporate office now. So he will be going out to, I guess, trade shows and to, I don't know, and like picking things out that will go in this specific place, the company that he now works for. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so between loss of a job, homeschool stuff, We've also had, what have we done? Uh, Megan's been working and uh, she's been getting a little, she's been getting a few more hours. Just pure craziness of summer, the end of summer, and it's just been like, rah, you know, and we've had like, uh, what have we done? Parties after parties. After, Kennedy has had so many parties. So, yes, I did take a week off last week and it was kind of like, you know what? I, I did, I did vlog the entire time, like, I didn't say anything when he had lost his job. We were going on as normal. Like we did, we went on as normal because we did not want our kids to worry. We did not, you know, it's just, it's hard when you have four kids and something like this happens. It's just, um, I don't know. I just did not want them to worry. So we went on as normal and I did vlog, but it was like, I guess last week everything was kind of like we were good again and it was like the weight had got to me and I was just, pure exhausted and yeah so that's why I took the week off last week so oh uh, are you caught up now are you caught up did you understand that that came from this brain because yeah it's not easy to understand the things that come out of this brain so yes that is what we have been up to that is what we were doing and um, like I said it was not that I was keeping it from you guys that I just wanted everything to be worked out figured out and I could say oh by the way so see it's all good um, and yeah that's exactly what I did <laughs> to some of my family by the way you know um, but everything's good everything's good everything's good it is